hello everyone welcome to a new video which will be about arterial blood gases usually we call it abgs abg stands for arterial blood gases and i will tell you a three step formula for the interpretation interpretation of arterial blood gases first of all coming to a normal value normal value of ph pcu2 hcu3 and pao2 this is a bit less important we will come towards the this at the end first of all pH of 7.35 up to 7.45 is the normal range of pH now coming towards the pcu 2 it, its normal value is from 35 to 45 you can remember it very easily here it is 7.35 and up to 7.45 just taking this one and this one it will come towards pcu 2 7. Uh, it is basically 35 to 45 Okay, and there is no shortcut and any from formula to memorize this one. You will have to memorize this by, by your own 22 from 26. It is bicarbonate HCO3. Now, normal value of partial pressure of oxygen is from 80 to 100. Okay, so first of all, you will have to memorize these things. pH of 7.35 to 7.45 and uh, normal value of PaCO2 is 35 to 45 and the normal value for HCO3 is 22 to 26. Now coming towards the three steps ABG interpretation formula which I will be telling you now and here it is. In three step in the ABG interpretation first of all you will have to identify if it is acidosis or alkalosis. Just uh, one example like I uh, will am showing you uh, pH of just consider it 7.25 so our normal value was 7.35 to 7.45 so it's on the lower side from uh, of 7.25 pH is given 7.25 it is acidic it is acidosis so it is acidic right now another example if we take 7.50 so it's on the basic side so or will be or abg and patient blood will be on alkalosis right now coming towards the second step identify if it is respiratory or metabolic another step was either it is respiratory or metabolic problem right first of all we will come towards the respiratory just after saying that you have noted that uh, uh, its pH was for example given as 7.25 I am taking the same example and uh, normal value was 7.35 to 7.45 right and uh, PaCO2 is given 50 right you can now see pcu 2 is a 50 and ph is given at p uh, ph is given at 7.5 and we will take as the hcu 3 in 22 right in this case first of all you have decided that it is acidic right then you will be deciding if either it's acidotic uh, it's metabolic or respiratory acidotics okay so then coming towards the partial pressure of co2 and here the partial pressure of uh, co2 is more than the normal value normal value was 35 to 45 normal value so it's more than the 45 so we can decide easily that it's uh, and this one is by co3 is in normal limits we can decide if it is respiratory acidosis right now coming towards another one once you have decided is respiratory acidosis then we'll come towards uh, the another one either it is compensated or uncompensated we will be uh, and in another example we are taking that uh, a ph of 7.50 7.50 and p a c o 2 30 right and by carb again by carb is normal which is 24 right we can easily take it if there are less uh, amount of carbon dioxide in blood and uh, pH value is more and uh, it shows there is alkalosis first of all it is alkalosis right 
and pH uh, PSU2 is in 30 which means it is below so we can easily easy, consider is respiratory alkalosis right because HCO3 again is in normal limits which is from 22 to 26 right now I'm taking another example in another example pH of 7.30 right and PaCO2 is 40 which is in normal limits and HCO3 is 18 right now again you will you have decided if this is acidic right first of all you have decided it is acidic then coming towards the PCO2 which is a normal limit and now coming towards the bicarbonate in bicarbonate is in, in normal value is 22 to 26 so it is and below the normal so it means that we are having a low amount of bicarbonate which is actually basic and that's why we can really consider is metabolic acidosis all right now coming towards the compensation one just consider it again the same thing but you will have to identify if it is compensated or uncompensated right first of all coming towards the another example okay. the first of all pH is 7.35 right so normal value was from 3.7.35 to 7.5 right and uh, now you can see carbon dioxide is on more than the normal right normal value was 35 to 45 so it is more than the normal right and su3 is more than the normal you can take it like this and this one is also now the main trick which i already told you that you have decided it is normal so nor acidic nor basic right this one is uh, above and this was also above more than the normal values right first of all you will decide you will have to decide if either it is basic or it's either respiratory or metabolic right for that you just come over here 49 is more than the normal just consider it that uh, we will take this 7.35 7.36 7 7.37, 7 7.38, 7 7.39, and 7.40. We will consider it as acidic one. It is a number, but more in the acidic side. And we will take 7.41, 2, 3, 4, 45 to be the basic side. First of all, it's on the acidic side, normal acidic side, we can consider normal acidic side, right? This acidic, so it will be acidic is acidic. So we'll consider it respiratory because the carbon dioxide is more in blood. And ACO3 is also above, but we'll take it as respiratory acidosis with metabolic compensation it's like this so first of all consider it that our lungs working on carbon dioxide and kidneys working on SCO3 right if there will be increase in carbon dioxide amount definitely our kidney will be compensating it by um, maintaining more uh, retaining more uh, bicarbonate in the blood so it will compensate it like in this sense so they have our kidneys have retained more bicarbonate to compensate the acidity acidity so this will be respiratory acidosis with metabolic compensation now coming towards either full compensated or partially compensated if it's a normal limit it means it's in uh, 
complete compensation. If you, its value is again not in the normal limits, it will be partial compensation. Now coming towards the another example, here pH is 7.44. It means it is a normal basic side, right? Coming towards the carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is an above, right? And uh, but HCO3 is more because uh, it's almost uh, near to the normal. So we we'll consider it as metabolic alkalosis with respiratory compensation. Right, the next example was this. Now I will be showing you some examples and you decide by, you, by yourself that either it's a normal or abnormal. First of all, I will taking, I'm taking 7.25 pH, right? This is examples. And PSU2 is, uh, uh, I should take it as 50, right? And ECO3, I will take it as 24. So what this example shows, First of all, you have decided that it is acidic and the very next step you are coming towards the carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is more in the blood than normal. So, re respiratory acidosis. I am taking another example, 7.50. Carbon dioxide is 40, SU3 is 30. First of all, you have decided that it is on the basic side, so I will consider it as basic alkalosis. And here, carbon dioxide is a normal limit, so no respiratory compensation, and now it's a compensation, respiratory. Coming towards the bicarbonate, which is actually basic thing. And it's more than the normal. Normal is 22 to 26. One, it is once it is more than normal, it means we can will consider it as metabolic alkalosis. Okay, now another example again. 7.45, which is in normal limits, and. Uh, CO2 is 2 we should take it as um, I must take it as uh, 30 right and bicarb is 50 right first of all you have decided that it is on normal basic side Normal basic carbon exercise is not uh, below nor normal and it's above normal. So we'll consider it as metabolic alkalosis with respiratory compensation. Okay, this was all about ABGs. For this is the three steps ABG interpretation formula, and you can use it anywhere. And uh, it's very simple, and you can easily diagnose a patient with either it is acidotic or alkalosic, and either it is a respiratory or metabolic problems. And uh, thanks for watching. And you can comment which topic you want to be on the next in our video. And uh, kindly subscribe to our channel Medical Online for more videos. And uh, Thanks again.